kiddo is making the cutest noises right now he's like <laughs> i can't even do the squeaky noises they're so cute inside me just jumping up a storm <laughs> having the best time oh my goodness i have to i really need to do my hair like i need to at least wash it maybe maybe do that i also need to get it done like i need to I need to have a haircut and I'd like to get it dyed, balayaged. Well, okay, here's a question for hairdressers. The difference between balayage and foils, is it just that one is like painted on and the other one is not? Because balayage is more expensive and it takes forever. If you've ever had balayage done, especially if you don't have long hair, oh my God, it takes hours. So last time I got it done and a haircut, it cost me $350 to $400. And I really don't want to spend that. Um, I just need a new hairstyle. I need a new, like, okay, it looks terrible right now. It needs to be washed. Ugh. Um, I need something new. The last time I got it done was right before my son was born and I just got a trim and that was it. Because my hair was down to my waist. But um, yeah, I need to get something done. Anyways, I need to wash my hair today. And this is a thing that I do um, when I can't shower. I, I often, because my baby, it's, it's really hard to shower. Like other moms, hello, when do we get to shower? And if you have a lot of thick, long hair, it's hard to shower and wash your hair at the same time because you're like, you're on a time crunch. You gotta be like, boom, boom, boom. So what I often do is I will go to the bathroom where we have a tub and I will just quickly wash my hair in the tub <laughs> using the, not the drain, the faucet. And with my son there and I'll just like shh, do my hair. Yeah, I need a shower too, but daddy's at work right now and times be tough. <laughs> okay, so the moment has come. We are done the strawberry pound cake. Does everyone not love that moment when you're like almost in the soap? And you're like, especially Bath and Body Works. Oh my God. It took me a second to remember the name. <laughs> not Bed Bath and Beyond. Bath and Body Works when you're almost on the bed, Bath and Body Works soap. And you're like, oh my God, I get to pull out a new one. So I'm pulling out a new one. I'm pulling out the pink lavender and espresso. I wanna see, am, am I actually able to smell some espresso in this soap? We shall see. But I just had to record that moment, that like, ooh, a new soap moment. Yes. Yes.
So in wearing these t-shirts all day, every day, I realized who I look like. And I can't use this person's actual photo because I don't want to pay Getty Images or whoever for the photo. But I'll put it right here. I just realized yesterday I was looking at myself and I was, I actually saw a video on TikTok of this person and then was like, oh my God, that's what I look like. Moon, do you have to be drinking water right now? to get out of the house. I basically have cabin fever. We've been in the house for pretty much this entire week. I didn't want to take the baby out and make him get in his car seat and everything, but it's Friday now and I just gotta go somewhere. I don't really want to tea or to go to the tea shop, but I might do that just to do something and it's kind of low stakes. I don't have to put the baby in the stroller. Yeah. No, it's Chicago. It was in Chicago. No, no, no. I was in Chicago. Okay. No, I like me. Hell, I would say. So I got my tea. I might regret this later because my stomach does really hurt. So this is a good idea. I just wanted something to do. I could have gone to the grocery store, I guess, but I didn't want all that admin <laughs> of like getting the baby out and stuff. Cause like here you can just take out the carrier and like walk in, but like I can't go to the grocery store and do that. I have to put him in the stroller and it's a whole thing and take the stroller out, blah blah. Uh am I gonna am I gonna regret this? Was this a good idea? Choices. No more ball? You want me to throw the ball? No? <laughs> Hi guys, so I just washed my hair and I'm feeling good. Um, and my kiddo is beside me, so you might hear some noise. You can also see my dog is beside me too. He loves to be beside us as close as possible. But I just want to say something. I got my first negative comment this morning on my videos and actually not really about my videos, but about being an incomplete paraplegic and my video on that. So this person, and you know what? I'm going to assume it's a guy. I just, I feel guy energy from this. Um, not the stereotype. I'm going to, I'm going to just call him guy. This guy said, what happened to me was not a miracle that he'd watch the video if my injury was complete and then I had relearned how to walk. And it's not, wait, he used the word trauma, I believe. Yeah, a miracle would be an injury due to trauma. So I've never said this, I've never said, um, I've never called what happened to me a miracle or relearning how to walk a miracle. I've got a tea with tea, three tea bags going on right now because my stomach hurts. So I've got three ginger tea bags in there and it's working. I've never called it a miracle because that would invalidate my having worked hard to relearn how to walk. So no, it wasn't a miracle. You're right. But I never used the word miracle.
I, I wonder why this person wrote that comment that they'd only watch the video if my injury had been complete and I had relearned how to walk again. Complete, so I, I should explain what complete means. I'm an incomplete paraplegic because the damage was only to half of my spinal cord. And this usually happens due to trauma. So what trauma means is a gunshot wound, a knife wound, or a car accident, something like that. Whereas mine was due to a surgery. So let's say a surgeon. And I never would never want to say my surgeon messed up because he didn't mess up. He did a great job. And I've relearned how to walk, so we're good. And he didn't paralyze me forever. Which was one of the risks they said. They said you could be paralyzed forever if we operate on you. If we open up your spinal cord, you might wake up and just be like. So I'm an incomplete because the damage was to half of my spinal cord. And from my breastbone down on one side is has like paralysis feelings and it was paralyzed. I couldn't walk for a while and it, it felt like a, I was just carrying a bunch of lead. Um, complete would be all the way through. And you're probably not relearning how to walk. But I mean, there's lots of medical marvels out there now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say to this person, if they're listening, even if they're not listening, I hope someone buys you flowers for Valentine's Day. I hope you get everything you want in life. And I hope you have a nice day today. That's all I wanted to say. Now, uh, back to my regular vlogging. Hi guys, it's now the next day and Saturday and I'm recording this on my phone because I brought my camera and I forgot to put my SD card in it, which is great. Um, <laughs> so I hope this quality is okay, but I'm actually, okay, husband, stop watching now. I'm picking up his birth, one of his birthday presents right now. Um, so I'm trying to give him enough time to pause the video. Do not listen. Okay, so I am at Staples right now because, so recently my husband, his birthday's coming up and he made a home gym and in our basement, so our basement now, well, our sub basement is, has like a squat rack and the treadmill and a bike and just racks of weights and he's got like everything kitted out in there. So he built that over the Christmas holidays. And so now for his birthday, I'm going to buy him some stuff that's like weightlifting adjacent uh, or stuff to decorate his little room. <laughs> and so I'm at Staples because I ordered a print. And so I bought the JPEG, the design off of Etsy. So everything I bought off of Etsy for him. And it's a poster of a woman, a drawing of a woman, like a built woman. And it's like slay, sparkle, lift weights or something. I don't know. I'll take a picture of it and show you guys. And then when I get back, I'll describe the other things that I bought him. Okay, so I am back. They did not have it. I was hoping that they would like show it to me and like have me proof it, but they just had it all wrapped up and ready to go. So instead, I will show you a picture of the Etsy <laughs> listing. And this is what I got. So I think it says like slay, sparkle, and whatever. <laughs> if I could hold my phone and look at it and talk to you at the same time I would. So this is just our sense of humor and I think he'll appreciate something like this. And I also got him, so listing here, this beefy candle bear um, and it's brown and I think I got it in coffee scent from Kiki's Candles in Toronto. So I'm still waiting for that. 
um, and I think he'll greatly appreciate that. Hopefully he won't burn it. <laughs> because it's just so beautiful. And then the last thing I got him was this Mimi, uh, Mimi, meme, like t-shirt that says, oh, hit maxes, evade taxes. <laughs> Obviously, we'd, I don't mean that. It's a freaking meme. It's a joke. Like, and I don't think he's going to leave the house wearing that top. <laughs> But it's just so ridiculous. From, I think, AI Emporium. It's just such a ridiculous shirt. Um, I think he's going to love it. And also kind of hate it. We pay our taxes. But we're not, you know, whatever. It's just a joke. So I got him the Sparkle and Slay uh, poster. The Beefcake Bear candle. And the Hit Max's Evade Taxes t-shirt. So I think that's pretty good. And that's all from Etsy. So I'm hoping it comes on time because his birthday is coming up in 10 days. And so far I only have the poster. So I'm still waiting on the two other things. I think so the candle's coming from Toronto. So we're probably good on that. And then the t-shirt is coming from, gosh, where is it coming from? I think it's like Texas or something. Of course, of course, Texas. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm hoping he loves this. Oh, another thing, I'm not wearing any brow product on today because I honestly hate my brow products. I don't like, I don't really like the Benefit Brow Gel, I or I just can't use it properly. And then I was speaking to a friend and she said she used uses the Thicket Stick It Brow Gel from NYX or NYX or whatever. And I think, I have to go to Shoppers today anyway, of course. And so I'm going to try picking it up. And I'm going to try like a more of a blondish color. Not go brown because it, it's too dark on me. I just, maybe I have thin brows. I don't know. Maybe I just need to th thickenify them. I just wanted to vlog something real quick. Um, I just got a new pack of stickers because I'm running out. I mean, that's not true. I just, I'm running out of ones I want to use. So, but I saw these ones and they just warmed my heart because they've got grilled chicken on there a few different times, like right there, up here, but it says chicken instead of chicken. It's like C-H-I-C-H-I-N. I guess that could be chicken, chicken. Like, it's very phonetic, I guess. But that just warmed my heart. I saw that and I was like, you're meant for me. Okay, I went home, dropped off my son, and I'm out now, and I'm at Shopper, and I'm going to get those brow products. Well, I'm going to get the Thicket Stick It Brow Gel and possibly a pen that's like a similar Thicket Stick It pen or something like that um, from NYX, and I'm going to try that. And uh, I just want some fluffy brows. I'm just, I'm on a brow journey, and I'm not happy with my current brows. I just want them to be... I don't know, up and like fluffy. I don't know if I need to like laminate them or what I need to do. I'm just I'm trying to look in the mirror now. I'm not feeling them. And I know clean girl look is out and mob wife is in. What does a mob wife brow look like? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I guess you're not on TikTok enough because clean girl's out, mob wife. I think the brows I had before were mob wife. I think I was doing that before. <laughs> but I want some just like clean, nice looking brows. I guess I could get that probably just with gel. Just like brush them up a little bit. Not like some people like really brush them up and it's like a little too much there. Anyways, also I looked at the footage from my phone when I was back home. It was pretty good. And I don't use an iPhone. I switched from iPhone. I actually switched. I switched a long time ago because I hated how the updates 
would screw up my phone and then I could my phone would become obsolete. I hated that. So then I switched to Samsung Galaxy. I have the 23, S23, and the camera is really good. And that was the front or back, you know, the one you're not supposed to use, the front face, the front facing camera. And it was like fine. Probably not for like all the time for far away shots or anything like that, but close up, very darn good. Anyways, gonna go in uh, shoppers and I, I guess I'll use my cell phone in there because I don't really feel like using my big camera. Although my camera's actually pretty small. So yeah, let's go do that. So I bought in taupe the Lift and Snatch pen from NYX and the Thicket Stick It brow gel from NYX. And I'm going to try putting it on in the car using my little mirror here. Lovely. Yeah, you can still see. Okay. There goes my phone. Let's try this. Oh, I need to pluck my brows. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing this without plucking my brows. Oh well, let's see. There's a little bit too much product on there for my liking. What if it won? puts a ton of product like even if you're trying not to it's a it really puts a lot of product on your brow but I'm doing this very lightly honestly I could even leave it like that but I did buy the pen to add in some detail so let's I really should have plucked a few of the stray hairs before using this Let's try adding in some detail with a pen. Instantly snatched brows in a pen. Okay. This is my first time using a brow pen. I mean, I have an eyeliner pen. I have a couple of those, but a brow pen. And this is all in taupe. It's really light. It's like much lighter than a pencil. Ooh, this helps on your arch. And for the tail, too. Kind of fills it in a little bit. It's maybe a little too filled in. <laughs> As an art student, I like this because it's like I'm painting my face. Ooh, that's fun. Do a bit more here. Oh, that's fun. That was so much fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking this more than the benefit contraption. And this was, okay, it cost me the same price. So one benefit brow gel versus two options, the Thick It Stick It by NYX and the, what the hell was the other one called? Snatch and Lift? Snatch and Lift and Thick It Stick It? <laughs> Yeah, I just use a snatch and lift and a thicket stick it on my face and we're good to go. Oh, I love that. I lo okay, best combo so far. Now I'm going to end the vlog here. So, NYX, you're the real ones. See you next week.